So how you can create like a simple intake form. So in Locus, you will again click on automation. You will click on intake forms. So here you can build your intake forms. You can use this for your contactors on your website. You can embed these on your website. You can share with your clients and you can add conditional logic on these intake forms as well. And if you send it to your clients, you know, like your clients can save the progress and then they can come back and they can start where they left. So I will create something simple. So I already have like a contactors here. So we will create something simple like that. I will click here. I will say add new form. So we'll say contactors. So now we can add the multiple choice questions. So we can have like, we can select any question type. So for this demo, I will say single line text. I will say first name. I will add another question here. I will say another single line text. So I will say last name. I will like add another single line text. I will say email address. And after this, I will show you like how you can have conditional logic here, okay? So we'll say preferred contact method. So we'll have like a multiple choice question and we'll say what is your preferred contact method. So this can be your text message, add option, phone call, and email. So this is your simple contact us form, form here. So we are going to save it. And you can implement embed this form on your website as well. And then you can link it with workflows and you can create leads or matters depending on it, like how you want to do it. So how you can embed this on your website. So you will click on send here. You can allow resubmission or you can skip it. And then you will click on embed. You will copy this code and you can like paste it on your website. And this will show up like this. So I will show you like how this will look. So I will say iframe W3Schools. So we are going to put that there. <clears throat> so we'll replace this iframe here. So if you are not technical, don't worry about it. You can work with your, with your web guy and they can do it. You see the moment I did it, it embedded that form here. You can change the height of it. You can, let's say, you know, like we want width more, we want 800 and we want height as as 900. So I'm going to make it run and you see like this is how it, it is going to look on your website. So you can embed this and then you can link this with your with your lockers. So whenever that form is submitted, it you will receive a notification here like in new intake form is submitted. So this is simple form and after this like we'll create like a form which will have more conditional logic because I want to use this form on the web so I'm not going to add conditional logic on this. So I will cancel it out or I will update it and, and save it, cancel it out. I will create a new form. So now new form is like, let's say you're like you are doing a family case. I will say family case and you want, again, you will do the similar thing. I will just say name here. Instead of multiple choice, I will say single line. And are you married or not? So our question would be now, are you married or not? So now depending on this answer, you know, like you may want to do like, you may want to ask different follow-up questions, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to add few pages here. So first page we are going to add is we will say married questions. We'll add one more page here. And this on this page will ask like questions which are for unmarried person. Or single questions. 
for now, let's add some questions here, like your spouse name. I'll keep it simple. So I will say this is like a single line text. And here, you know, I will say, if it's a single, let's say, question is maybe girlfriend name. Are you looking to get married? Whatever you want to do. So I will just leave it here. I will say single line text. So now we'll go back to yes and no. We'll click here. We'll say go to page based on answer. So now we'll go to page two when it is yes, like it's married. We'll go to no, like to the single page when they say no. And after the marriage question, you're like, we want to skip and we go to want to go to the last or we want to submit the answer. So let's add one more page here, new page. And let's drag and drop this thing to, to the bottom here. So, okay. This will go to this and let's add one page here. And say family information. So now I will even show you like how you can skip this page, extra page I have I have added. Either you can delete it or you can skip it, how you want to do it. So now you see like after the married, you're like, I want to skip and I want to go to the last page. And after a single question, you like, it will automatically go to this page. And after page in family info, I want to submit the answer. So I will say submit answer. So we created, you know, like little sophisticated form here. We are going to save it now. And we'll view it now. So this is how it looks. So I'm going to put my answer. I will say Har Simran, married. So the moment I will select married and do next, it will show me married questions. If I do next, it will take me to the last page to submit. If we go back, if we do no, it will take me to single questions. If I do next, it will again show me the, the final information. Now you can make the other things you can add here is you know, like you can link these answers to the custom fields or to the matter fields. So you can map them to the matter or to the contact. Or you can make these fields as required. So for example, we want to make these two required. So now if we update it, we go back, we refresh it. You see like now both of them, they show required. And if you don't answer it, it will not show the next button. And now the last part is like how you can make, like if you send to your client, like how they can save the progress, because that is very important because a lot of you have like, can have like a larger, larger forms. And these forms can, you know, like can save you a lot of time because if you link them correctly and if you link them to, to, to the fields correctly or you create workflows on them, this will save you a lot of time because if you currently, you are sending PDFs to your clients, you don't have to, you can send them these, you can add, you can even add the fields, which is, which will allow them to upload the documents as well. So you can add like upload document, file upload, your clients can upload documents and you will see, you will get all the documents here. We have a client portal as well, but if you want to replace client portal with something which is straight and direct, you can use this to for, for that as well. So there your clients can upload documents from here and <clears throat> you will save a lot of time. Other thing you can do is you can create these forms and if the client comes in at your office, you can give them the iPad. And you know, like if you go to, like if you go to hospital these days, they give you iPad, right? And then you can add like all your information there. So you can do the similar thing. And it will save you time because you know, like your client is going to enter all the information for you. So now I'm going to send this because we want to test like how save progress will work. So I'm going to cancel it out. I will say send. So now you have to link it to a client or a matter to have the save progress work. So we are going to send it to a client. Abby Cartwright, 
next i will copy this link you can email it here this email will go from your own email your client will never find out like system is sending you sending them so uh, for the demo purpose i'm going to copy this link i will open one more browser i will open safari here and will enter this so this is how it's going to look to your client i will answer this or simran and i will say yes you see the save progress i'm going to do the save progress now and now i will go back i will go back to this browser to test it out i will open this link and you will see like it will open where we left so your client can do next and if you have larger forms you like because a lot of times like your clients they need a lot of information to fill these forms so they can always come back they can save the progress and they can start where they left so this is how your intake forms work you can always reach out to support at lockers you can directly reach me at heavy at lockers thank you very much